Hello friends, welcome to Power BI World. In today's video, we will see how we can transform data into Power BI. Okay, so before we start, let's understand what is data. So a data are units of information that are collected through observation or description of things like words, numbers or facts. Okay. So for example, uh, your resume, your portfolio that you share with various companies or uh, update on the uh, you know, job websites, what they do is collect your data like your mobile number, they collect your email address, they collect the total work experience you have, the, the skills that you, you work for. So all that detail is nothing but the data. Okay. Uh, another example if I would like to give you is the matrimonial sites wherein they collect all information like your name, your full name, address, your age, mobile number, uh, description about yourself. So that is all about data. So what all information is collected by the job sites or the matrimonial site is a data. So it's not only your personal information, it's an information related to a company. So example like an XYZ company, how much sales is done in the year of 2020 or how much profit they have gained in the month of 20, uh, in the year 2020 or um, how much losses they bear, how much tax they have paid. So various examples to give it. So whatever information is there is all in the form of data. So it can be a numbers, it can be words or it can be any tax as well. Okay, so that's all about data. So let's see the different types of data. Basically, there are three types of data. One is your structured data. The other one is your semi-structured data. And the third type is your unstructured data. Okay. In this video, we will only see two types of data. That is your structured data and unstructured data. So what is a structured data? A structured data is organized into a format to analyze or to give insights to your companies, to your clients, or, you know, basically it is it is well organized it is kept in your any of your database to do the so that you can directly perform the analysis the unstructured data so it is totally opposite of structured data it is un, it is you know unstructured which do not or uh, which is not even organized in any predefined format or it do not have any data model so that you can perform the analysis so you have to clean that data to perform the analysis so this is what are the data types or two data types that we are going to see in this video so let's go to the power bi desktop okay so i am into power bi desktop and now we will see how we can transform data into power bi okay so before before we go there let me show you the file that i am going to use in this example to transform the data so this is the revenue file okay this is the revenue file that i'm gonna use into transforming the data into power bi uh, this is a random file that has been created with random numbers okay uh, this is just a demo file so this file what what this file show is the country name okay the uh, the domain of that business like it's an electronic business or it's an IT service business or it's just a business uh, just the random names that's been given and year on year revenue for that particular domain so this is a very simple data uh, no fancy data no unstructured data I would say this is a semi structured data wherein I just have to do few things to transform that data into power bi okay so this is the excel file that we are gonna use for this example okay so I need to upload that excel file into power bi so let me close this file so now you must be aware how to upload data into power bi okay if no you can go and watch my video series which says how to upload data into power bi the link is given in the description and you can also see that link on the i button there okay uh, let me go to get data go to excel click on revenue and click on open so once I click on the Excel file or uh, the file that I want to connect, it will give me a pop-up window which will ask me to select a sheet that I want to 
upload so this is the revenue file that i have and this is only one sheet so i'll just select the sheet and this is the data how it will look like so let me click on load so once i click that on load it will load the data into power bi and you can see the details on the right hand side in the fields option so this is how you can upload the data into power bi now let's transform this data so to do so what we have to do is go to transform data and click on transform data okay so this is how the excel data looks like into power bi okay all right so now i want to transform this data into a meaningful data wherein i can start doing my analysis okay so to do so to transform this data i have to go to the transform tab okay and these are the option that is available for you to work with this particular table in transform tab okay so we won't be doing anything much first what we will do is transpose this data from a column to a row so you know uh, if i go and click on the transpose table here or uh, the transpose tab here it will change my data so you see how the data looks like previously it was all unstructured now it is in a bit structure format okay so this is how your data will look like if i just click on the uh, transpose tab again let me see what happens so the data will be into the previous format again okay you can directly do it from here or you can also click on this applied step cancel this applied step and your data will be back to your the way you uploaded into power bi okay so you can see it it is giving me the electronic it services in the columns the years into the row format if i transpose this this will change the year will come into the columns and the domain that is like electronic it services will show in the row format okay so let me click on transpose and my data is changed so you can see this your data now my data has changed i have got this years i have got the uh, business on the row side okay still the data is not completely transformed okay now i still have to do few things to make this data uh, available for me to do some analysis first what we will do is we will change the columns okay so instead of this column numbers i want the years to show as my columns so to do so i have to just do a right click and use first row as headers if i do so i will get the first row as my headers like if you see now you have 2010 2011 so on and so forth as your columns okay now i have a column which says as null so i don't want this column i have to remove this column so what i will have to do is just go select that column and click on do a right click and click on remove so if i do so you see my that null value column has been removed okay so now we are just left with one column which says so now still you can see a null values in the country's name so what i have to do is go to this fill option it will fill the value basis the nearest value so instead of this null value i will get the value which is near to the columns if i click on fill up these two rows will remain as null however this three will become usa this three will become uk and this will left as india so what we have to do is we have to always see our data and basis that data we have to select this option so for now i have to select fill down and if i click on fill down you can see the column is named accordingly to the nearest value okay and now this is what your data is trans transformed completely to do some analysis you can also rename this column instead of column 2 let's say let's rename this column as uh, let's rename this column as site 
you can see the step that we have applied to work with this table to transform our data into a meaningful data so that we can do the analysis okay so this transform of data has been completed now and now we can just go to home tab we can just close and apply and this data will be now uploaded into your power bi desktop to do various analysis okay so that's all about in this video hope you like this video uh, please comment below subscribe to my channel and have a great day